Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feasts. Hey guys, it's Friday. What does that mean? That means it's time for another cooking video. Today we're just going to simply put Popeyes out of business. Yep, I said it. We're going to put Popeyes out of business. No, but for real, we are going to make red beans and rice better than Popeyes, guys. So if you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you know when I post a video, which by the way, is every Friday. And let's get started with some red beans and rice. Right, so as I always do, we're gonna start now with our supporting cast. So before I even get started with the supporting cast, I'm cooking these red beans and rice in the Power Pressure Cooker XL, guys. All right, so here's the supporting cast, guys. So as always, we're using our my pink Himalayan sea salt. We're using just regular black pepper, some garlic powder. I got some little Cajun spices here. This is um, Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Um, some cumin, and this is nothing but some thyme, bay leaves, and then we got some cayenne pepper, and some, of course, some garlic. I can't cook without garlic. It's just, it's a fact. All right, and then we have the Holy Trinity here. So we got some, some um, celery here. This is about four stalks of celery. And then we got some bell pepper here. And I, I found a striped bell pepper. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before, but I found the striped bell pepper. So I got um, a red one and um, some striped bell pepper in here. I'm sorry, a yellow one and some striped bell pepper. And then I got some regular onion. Then I got some green onion, scallions, whatever you want to call them. These are fresh just for some garnishment. Then I'm using some chicken broth. And then, of course, we do have our red beans, or red kidney beans. These are light kidney beans. This is one pound. And then in this bowl, we have one ham hock, which I have pre-boiled before the video. So there's one ham hock boiled, and then in the bottom of that, I have some andouille sausage, guys, to cut up in about a quarter inch cubes. So that's the supporting cast, so let's get started putting this together. This is an easy, easy one pot pressure cooker meal, guys. Very simple, very quick. And it's better than Popeyes. So the very first thing I want to do, and I want to emphasize, I did boil that ham hock beforehand because it takes a little while. So I boiled it for about a half hour um, just to get the meat loosened up and some of the um, you know, some of the juices going on with that. But I did boil that, so I wanted to let you know that. I boiled it for about a half hour on the stovetop. So you can do that if you want to, but you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways of making this. And I'm using ham hock, you can use bacon, you can use turkey necks, you can do all kinds of different flavors, but always get them smoked. All right, so the first start this, we're gonna, basically we're gonna start with the Holy Trinity. So I'm gonna pour in a little bit of EVO. I have my pressure cooker here on sear mode. So I'm basically just gonna sear off the vegetables. So I'm gonna pour in my celery. Can you hear it there? I'm gonna pour in my bell pepper. And this is the Holy Trinity, guys. This is the basis of all Southern New Orleans cut type cooking. And then we got our onion here. All right, let me put those aside. All right, so we're gonna sear these down, or not sear them, but we're gonna get these nice and caramelized and make sure the onion, onion is translucent there. It's gonna take it just a few minutes to do that here. That's the wonderful thing about the, um, the pressure cooker is that you can do everything in one pot. All right, guys, so we're going to let that stew just for a little bit here. And then I'll, I'll be back and I'll add, um, I'm going to add my garlic to it. The, the onions and the bell pepper and the celery are, get, the onions are getting really translucent here. Um, so now it's time to add, go to our next step. But I want to make a point of the vegetables in this. They're not quite a, a uh, they're not quite minced or grated, but they are diced pretty small because they're not really supposed to be seen. They're supposed to cook down to nothing, basically. They're there for flavoring. So I wanted to make a point of that just so you know that, you know, you're not trying to see the vegetables in this. They're really supposed to cook down to nothing. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to add... 
Let me transfer my ham hock over here real quick. I'm gonna add my andouille sausage. Let's get that out of the way. And we're gonna stir that up. All right. And this is the easy steps now. And we're gonna add my ham hock back into it. And then I'm gonna add just about a whole heaping tablespoon of garlic. I can't cook without garlic. I mean, that's, it's impossible for me. Garlic is such a staple for me. I mean, I don't know how I would cook without it, but I love, I love garlic, so. All right, guys, so we're gonna stir that up a little bit. Get the garlic in there. And, you, and as you notice, we're still on sear mode with this. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna add, we're gonna add just simply, we're gonna add my, um, my kidney beans here. I'm gonna pour them in on the kidney beans. I don't let them soak overnight when I'm cooking with a pressure cooker. I don't need to. They don't need to get softened. But if you're not cooking with that, I definitely suggest that you go ahead and soften them up by letting them soak as long as you possibly can. And now we're just going to simply add our beet, our chicken stock. Now this is 32 ounces, and if I need more, I'm going to add um, another 32 ounces or so. Yeah, I think I do need a little bit more, so I'm going to add in some more for us. There we go. Probably about a little more than uh, 16 ounces that I've added secondly here. So now we're just going to stir this up a little bit. Ah, look at that. Next thing I'm going to add here is my bay leaves. I'm going to add my bay leaves to this. I'm going to add three bay leaves. One, make sure you take these out before you serve it. It's two and three. It's nothing worse than biting down on a piece of bay leaf. All right, the next thing we're going to add is a little salt. As you know, I do not measure very often. I put salt and pepper to taste. That's probably about two tablespoons. A little pepper. Probably a good teaspoon and a half. And we're gonna add now to my garlic powder. I don't have to add a lot of this because I've already got the garlic in there. But I'll add and I'll taste as, as I go along. And um, now we're gonna add my Cajun spices, my Cajun, Cajun seasoning. If I can get it open, guys. There we go. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of this. All right, next will be my cumin. I love cumin, man, I really, really do. That's probably about a half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of thyme. Maybe a little bit more. And this is your food, you flavor it how you want to. You know, don't worry about what other people think, you flavor it like you want to. And then we're gonna add some cayenne pepper for some kick. It's gonna be a little bit more than a half a teaspoon. Probably. There we go. It wouldn't come out for me. I had to tap it a bit. So we're going to stir that up in here. All right. And get everything nicely incorporated. Now, if you guys can believe it or not, that's essentially all there is to it. That really is all there is to it. I've just added everything to the pressure cooker. Next thing we're going to do is close it up. So you guys who have the Power Pressure Cooker XL, always pull this out so you know it's gonna get a good seal. 
All right, simply all we're gonna do is put it on here, lock it in there, and then we're gonna fix the uh, pressure at the top so it's locked in. You're gonna line up the arrow and the dot there. All right, next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit the meat and chicken button. Well, I'm gonna turn it off for first, and then I'm because I was still in sear mode. Do you remember that? Hit the meat and chicken button, increment it to high. That gives me one hour, and then I'm gonna bring it down because I don't need one hour. I do need about 35, 40 minutes. I'm gonna put it for 35. I'll uh, put it for 40 first. You're gonna see it go around and start to build pressure. It takes usually about five minutes. Now this was on beforehand, so it probably won't take but three or four minutes to start to build the pressure up. It'll lock the lid down and it'll start cooking for 40 minutes. And at that time, I'll be back and I'll show you what we got. See if we need any more time, need any more seasoning. Um, we'll take it from there, guys. I'll be back in 40 minutes real time in about two seconds by YouTube time. Through the power of YouTube, we're back. It's only been a few seconds. No, actually, to be quite honest with you, it almost cooked an hour. It, it cooked about an hour in the pressure cooker. So that first 45 minutes for, for, was really for me to see our first 40 minutes. was really for me to see how long it was going to take. I had to put it on for about another 20, 25 minutes. And it came out perfect, guys. So here we go. Perfection in the bowl, guys. Forget Popeyes, man. You can do this at home. Forget Popeyes. We're going to run them out of business now. But this is better than Popeyes, guys. I mean, look at this. With the rice in there. Oh, my God. You got to get a little bit in every bite here. Just a little bit. So we got the sausage and dewy. Got the beans. A little bit of rice. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord. I ain't never going back to Popeyes. I can, you can tell. I, whoa. Never going back to Popeyes. You can do this at home. This is wonderful, guys. Hey, it's got a little bit of kick to it from that cayenne pepper. Not much more than I can say. Try this at home, guys. By the way, all the music that you hear on Beats and Feasts on YouTube is all my music. So that music is up for, for purchasing if you want to buy it, if you want to lease it. Give me, a, give me a hit. BigTone9515 at gmail.com, guys. Hey, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know when another video drops. Hey, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.